the important points with the regard to digicycline first we will see what is it it is a broad spectrum antibiotic which is having action against gram positive gram negative and anaerobes also basically this was approved in 2005 for use mainly this comes as a one of the replacement for tetracycline resistant gram positive organism usually the tetracycline resistance occur because of the efflux pump or there is a change in the ribosomal proteins during that time digicycline came as a alternative for this gram positive which is having resistant to tetracycline those group of infection have well responded to this digicycline and the mechanism of action is it is a bacteriostatic drug it inhibits the protein translation basically it binds to the 30s subunit of the uh, ribosomes it is a glycyl cycline group almost similar to the tetracycline group Basically, it is having a biliary excretion. There is no much renal involvement. So, there is no need for the renal modification. And take up of the drug is around 24 to 28 hours. A uh, few books have given as 48 hours also. So, you can remember approximately as one day. And when to select or use this digicycline? Basically, if we take the infection, this can be divided as community acquired and the hospital acquired. In the community acquired group usually they might be responding to the uh, cephalosporins or the first line drugs like uh, tetras even tetras what depends on the site if it is you are suspecting resistance in particularly gram positive organism for example staphylococcal or streptococcal this is the situation where this digicycline can be selected especially when you are suspecting a resistance for example MRSA group methicillin resistant streptococcus streptococcus epidermis group skin and soft tissue infection intra-abdominal abscess perforation any appendicular appendicitis peritonitis these should not be selected as a primary drug this have to be chosen only when you are suspecting any kind of resistance when the gram positive organism was having resistance the alternatives were vancomycin lenisolide and taptomycin so tigicycline is also one of the alternatives so it is not a primary drug and uh, they have mentioned avoid monotherapy with this drug even though it is a broad spectrum and usually the response in diabetic food and the ventilator associated pneumonia is very poor so there is a like a documentation that this digicycline might not work well in diabetic food and a ventilator associated pneumonia as per the previous literature and what is the important side effect or the black box warning one important side effect is the Based on the randomized control trial, they have mentioned there is an increased chance of mortality in those patients who have received this digicycline, but they didn't mention what is the reason for this mortality, whether it is cardiovascular or some other reason, it is not clearly mentioned. And one more point is the teeth discoloration. Suppose if it is being given an uh, adolescent or child who is in the developing age, there is a chance of teeth discoloration. And the dosage is 100 mg stat followed by 500 uh, sorry 50 milligram bd this is the usual dose no renal modification but usually avoid as a monotherapy usually as a backup for a gram positive organism which is having resistance but this uh, the organism which are susceptible to tigicycline it can cover gram positive gram negative and anaerobes also especially peptostreptococci and all Coming to the UTA, regarding the how is the kidney uh, UTI infections or pyelonephritis and this tigicycline, the renal penetration is poor. Even though the mechanism is not clearly mentioned, the randomized control trials which has been done have clearly shown there is very less benefit if we use this drug in UTA. So for UTI pyelonephritis, there are good penetrating legs. 
like third generation cephalosporin fluoroquinolone amikacin are there so that's why it have to be avoided or the response might not be there if the patient is having uti the renal penetration is very poor these are all the important points with respect to tg cycling when it comes in 50 milligram vials that's all